Hi, and welcome to DIY with Andy and Candy. Today, we're going right back to the start to learn the basics of Power Tool Safety 101. Andy, where should we start? Well, before battle, you would prepare yourself with all the right armour. So that means protecting the things that are important to you, like your eyes, lungs, ears, and your hands too. And once you've made sure that you're safe, make sure that your space is safe as well. Now today we've got a completely clear bench. This is perfect. Only put the essential things you need on the bench. Also, make sure that you've got the right ventilation and the right lighting. And remember, you might make a bit of a mess, but almost all of our power tools do connect to vacuum cleaners. So if you don't want to make a mess, you can keep it clean as you go. And it's a really good idea to lay all the pieces of your puzzle out on your bench in preparation. So all the tools, the pieces of timber, the materials you might need, nuts and bolts, etc. So you can get the job done really easy and safely. I love this. Now there's a few tips that I've already learned along the way that have helped me, so I'll share them with you as well. One of them is to stay really comfortably close to your power tools at all times so you can have a little bit more control. And the minute that you are finished with that power tool, make sure you take that battery out for maximum safety. And it's a really good idea to keep your material firmly clamped to the bench so that you can keep both hands on the tool for max control and you'll get the best finish in your project. Great, these are just a few great tips to get us started. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to our Azito YouTube channel. We've got lots more videos coming up where you can use these safety tips.